Welcome to Relax and Paint this morning. I'm just going to do a soothing, simple little class, and I hope it touched your spirit and have you have peace today. So let's relax, take a deep breath this morning, and paint. Okay, you ready? So I'm going to pull down the camera and get our um, close up so you can see what we're going to be working on today. Okay, I'm going to be working with some art paper today, and it's a gray tone, and it's like multimedia paper, and you're welcome to use a couple of these colors, like gray, medium gray, and work your white multi-surface to get a background if you want on a canvas, all right? Multi-surface paint, this is folk art multi-surface, just like it says you can do on paper and many other surfaces, all right? And I just want to do a really fun um, muted um, willows with birds, okay? So I'm going to take my pencil and just kind of sketch off the top to the sides. And they're not, they're not going to be curly willows. They're just going to be branches. And you might not can see this, but this is kind of what I'm going to do first. All right, but then I want to add a couple of birds. All right, I like birds, they make me happy. I don't know why, it's just something that I enjoy. We're going to use floating medium today too. All right, that's a fluff that's inside the paint with no pigment. All right, so I'm going to put a bird like right in here and we're going to put his head. So if you do a circle, it kind of helps you. A circle. Let's go a little bit closer. All right, and right off this back of the head would be the wing. All right, and then the tail comes up. So it goes up and a V and back down. All right, that's the wing, not the body. And then right under this neck, to come all the way to there it would be a tummy. So can you see, I'm gonna erase the neck and it's just gonna be the wing here and there's actually a cheek here. All right, so with a bird, you go a V inside and a V outside. Okay. So it's easy if you're doing one to do two because let me show you why. We're going to have one over here somewhere, and he's going to be standing up on this little branch here, and we're going to have it come all the way around. So here's another way to draw this, where you have the front of the head, and it curves for the tummy and goes straight up for the tail. All right, can you see that? So then here, you can make a wing. Okay, and this is not going to be here, but that makes you see the circle. And then here's the tail. All right, so we put a little cheek in here. All right, so I'm going to erase this and this. And the head doesn't look like a ball anymore. It's real important that you don't get circles. Lots of people just do a ball up here for the head. And then it doesn't look right. So then we're going to make a V into the head. And a V out of the head. Okay. So I can have his little feet right here. And a branch like he's standing on a piece of, he's holding on to a piece of the branch. And this little guy is going to be holding on also to a piece, piece of the branch. Okay. So that's not too hard, right? This is going to be a really simple, easy project. Let me tell you what we're going to use. This is peacock blue, but you can use any blue you want. I put a little bit of licorice because if I need to darken the blue a little bit, I have burnt umber and medium gray and some floaty medium, okay? And wicker white or titanium white. 
So what's going to happen is lots of you maybe haven't used an angle brush before. It has some color in it. So I wet this brush and I'm going to take a little bit of medium and take some burnt umber and gray and work those in together. Okay, so I think I have too much water in this. So I'm gonna show you over here. I can lay it down and watch the water run out. So after I cleaned it in the water, you heard me do that. I needed to, to wet it. I hope you're thinking about coming home, maybe paint on canvas, wood, whatever, or even glass with the same paints, all right? So I'm going to start here and I'm going to follow with on this ankle brush. There's a toe and there's the heel. I put burn number on the heel, gray worked into burn number on the toe. And you can get a little bit of medium if you need it. And this is on this paper, which is, a, is gonna absorb a lot. You see how you can get those little teeny. All right, so I'm gonna keep going over here and let you see, I keep picking up more. Just a teeny bit of medium, mediums of fluff, like I said, in the paint with no color in it. So a little teeny bit of medium would go a long way. Now I'm going to take this branch into his little talons and then skipping. Okay. So I'm starting here and I make a Y. See these little Ys, um, they don't come straight out. You have to start here and then connect into them. All right. It might be easier too if you go upside down. So can you see those so far? Want to go get some more? I started heavier here for the branch. And then see my little fingers dragging? See that? So I start here, and split over, and then skip the bird and come on top. So let's do another one. More paint. And come on up more. All right, and then I'm going to have one that goes off to the side. I need medium now because it's not working very well. But this angle brush makes it look really good when you might not be super good at stems or vines. All right, so there we are. Now, another thing that's going to make this look like it has depth since I didn't do the, uh, I didn't do muddled sponging in the background is that I'm going to take this brush and I'm going to clean it out into the medium. I want a real ghost shadowy effect. So I'm going to go wipe this all off really good. And then I'm going to paint with this shadow. All right. So what I see in the background, let's get some more medium even. There we go. As I see lots of thin, transparent shadows, because these are way in the back. Can you kind of feel that now? Can you see it? They're really, really pastel. They can even go over the bird because you won't see them. See how that gives you more definition. I keep painting with that. Oh, 
lots of medium. See, so as that dries, it's gonna get really faint. Right now it stands out a little more than I want it to, but it's gonna be real dreamy like in the background. All right, so what happens is since I'm not on the canvas, I'm on this art paper, it's gonna absorb really fast. So it's gonna be hard for me um, to get a nice um, shading, like a little bit darker shading on the bottom. So I'm gonna come here with my scruffy and you start with the scruffy brush dry. And this floral handle one is in my signature set of brushes. So I have green handles. Those are my everyday starter brushes and good brushes. And then my signature brushes are lavender and white. And they're also all the specialty ones come with my roses on it. Okay, so I'm gonna come in here and see how I'm making this a little bit muted. Hear that? No water. All right, so I'm thinking Okay, so this is going to be totally different than if we weren't using paper. If we were on canvas, we could get this to be really muted. And on here, it's going to look more like a scruffy, which is fine. We could go like this a little bit more. Oh, that works good. This is what happens when I do it with you <laughs> without trying it first. All right, see, I kind of like this look over here. There we go. Now just imagine doing this on a greeting card and just putting a little small bird. All right, let's see how nice this looks. All right. Now I'm going to, now I can wash my scruffy and then I have to fluff it. Oh, look, I'm going to fluff the brush and then have it ready for the next time I use it. Okay, so what we want to do is let's get a small brush. All right, so I am going for a six. And then I think this is a 10, an eight would be good. There's an eight, all right. And uh, for the beak, I can use a one script liner or two flat, okay. So we are going to, there's a two flat. It's a really little flat brush. Okay, so I'm going to use the white and the blues, okay? So let's start first with some white on the bottom of the bird. Let's come here so you can get both birds. All right, so I'm going to come right under the cheek. And just brush the bird a little white on his tummy. Okay, so we're going to go right up here. And let's get some white in here. All on this bottom part. Okay, so I thought this bird was going to be smaller. <laughs> this is smaller here. Okay, so I'm going to use some peacock. So I'm going to come over here and I want some really pastel soft color first. I'll blend that all in here and I'm going to come here and do chisel with this is a 
This is that eight flat, sorry. All right, so I'm gonna do that little mix up here also. I hope you're enjoying this, it should be peaceful. Oh, I got that tail pretty big, but that's okay. All right, oops, so there he is there. So his tail could be turning towards me and his tail is more flat. All right, so I am gonna take a side load of teeny bit of white. Put a little bit of white up here. I just to give it texture and movement a little bit. And I can come here before I go any further with the blue and just pick up a teeny bit of licorice. And I'll put a teeny bit of this on the tip. You know, I have a little bit on the tail. So it's just a little bit, see that little bit of detail really helps. Okay, so now let's pick up a little bit more of the peacock blue and work this in and see it. I put the peacock blue on that licorice edge, so it's just a little bit darker. So, all right, so let's come right here. All right, so that's coming down and we want it actually to come up here. And long slender guys going along the base. All right, so while I've got that same color, okay. We're gonna come right here and have a V that goes into the tail. And let's come up here a little bit into where the wing's gonna be. All right. And so that wing's gonna come around. It's gonna come all the way here with that darker color following. See how I get the shape of the wing? All right, so I'm gonna wash that out because I'm gonna have white and peacock or Prussian blue or cobalt or whatever, look at me blue. There's all kinds of blues or aquas that you can use. All right, so what I'm gonna do now Just come right in here. All right, I'm gonna come over here some. And we can do another layer of blue. All right, and then still, another layer of blue. All think on this one, we'll leave it like that. So you just see layers of that. All right, so I'm gonna get down to the six flat because what's gonna happen here is I'm gonna grab a teeny bit of white and when I'm grabbing this right in here, I think it's going to pull some of the blue up. All right, so we're going to come right here. A little bit more white. And grab a little bit. 
Are you liking it? I think it's kind of fun because they're really, let's pull some blue down here. They're really pretty little birds. See how I'm rubbing that light blue in? You can see where the little eye is going to go. I'm going to come over here and get some more white and hopefully the blue is still on here from, from the other bird. So listen, let's go right along here and maybe when we rub it into the wings, some of it's still wet. There we go. Can you see that? So let's bring a little bit down here. There we go. So they're going to be pretty, just little guys on here. Just wait and see. All right, so I'm going to get my number two flat. And I'm going to take a little bit of medium gray with licorice and make it just a little bit darker. I'm going to lay this on the paper towel so it's not too much. And I'm going to come in into the head. Oop, I'm shaking. And a little bit out of the head. All right, this little teeny beak. And this one that comes in, the two makes it easy. This is a two flat. little bit. You can tell with this paper, you really need to have a good amount of paint on here, but not on the two. You have to be careful not to get it too, too heavy. Okay, so I just want that one script liner. I want to get a teeny, that's, that one script liner has lots of little hair is sticking out. So let's pick up a little teeny um, eye here and a little teeny eye over here. Okay, I can put a little bit of licorice up here, a little bit of licorice up here, there. Now, just a teeny bit, I rolled this into the licorice and I'm going to come right here and make little, this leg grabbing the, do you see this little leg grabbing the branch? So I've got one, okay, then another one comes here. This is from the other side. See how he's holding on? So what should happen is, is we have one here. And the one from in here. Okay. So I'm going to take just a little teeny touch and I'm going to touch the eye. A little bit, touch the eye, a little nostril, teeny bit. Okay, now he was a simple bird. You saw how I, little things I made sure that you don't have where you don't have a big round head. Okay, so one of the things that made this look really good is when I get some medium over here and just pick up a teeny bit of blue, I want you to see that there's a shading under the eye. A little bit of shading under the eye. So I think like this one really close as we do him. All right, so we're gonna come right under here. Okay, just a little bit. All right, so now, one last thing that these have pussy willows on them. So, 
what we will do is we're going to get a little bit of gray on the six and some white. A little bit of brown maybe too. Okay, and you keep getting fresh white. So this is what happens. We have little teeny pussy willow branches. Oops, I got too much water on there. It's hard when you have water and we're on paper. Okay, so we're going to come all along here. And that is going to be the finish of this really fun painting is on these dark brown branches, not the shadow ones. We're going to come in here and we're going to have lots of pussy willows. And at the very end, I'll, you can add brown or you can leave it without brown because it's going to give you this cool effect. See how I just, and that, and that nice. So remember, you're going to go a little bit of gray, a little bit of brown, and then keep dipping white. So we have a little, see, I'm just touching and I'm getting bigger. Okay. Is this relaxing? I told you it would be. Just a little relaxing project. Think about making a greeting card. Uh, get well or happy birthday, peaceful birthday. A sympathy card. I wish I knew the, uh, a meaning for the pussy willow maybe that you might find on a card. I've seen them, they're kind of peaceful. So I've seen them on uh, somebody's passed away. But also when you're telling somebody God bless and healing and hope. So maybe put some hope in the scriptures that talks about the sparrow. Okay, so there we go. Isn't it going to be fun? So didn't that just change everything, putting the pussy, pussy willows there? Let me get some bigger guys in here. And just some of these big ones. Let's put a few on here before I show you. Okay, we'll stop here. Little teeny bits on here. All right, and then we're gonna come over here. And then we'll stop on this side. I did a blue one, the willow plate. And I had put a few of these inside a blue willow picture. Picture. <laughs> so, and it was full of flowers and some of these were at the top, which made me think about, all right, there we go. All right, so we can go a little step further if you wish to. And that is where you get just on the six flat a two would work, but I know that sometimes the twos don't stay as nice as a six. Okay, so can you see? You're going to lift it like a little leaf, but it's just the base of the pussy willow. So look at it compared to the ones without. All right, let's do some over here for the big guys. See, and right here definitely needs it. 
So I just pick up more, flatten the brush. And just every once in a while, you can hit some. You don't have to do it all. So you look at these compared to those without, they look good both ways. So I hope you have a good week, rest of the week. I hope you share, share what I'm doing with friends that like to paint like-minded people or share with giving them a painting from you to let them know you're thinking about them during these hard COVID times. All right, whenever you watch this someday, I hope you feel inspired. I hope this, um, I want you to sign it and enjoy your painting. Take a deep breath, relax, blow it out this morning. And, and then think about what you would like to paint and who you would like to paint this for. Even if you do it on paper, you could just give it away and not feel like you have spent a lot of money on buying all the surfaces and all. Just enjoy. All right. So when you do yours, please share it. We'd love to see it on Donna Dewberry's with an S official one stroke group. Have a great day and come on Fridays and learn technique with me. All right. Thank you. Bye.